Well, hello there, my cuddle bugs. It's me, Anna Maria Mukbang, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't felt good, you guys. If you guys noticed, I didn't upload what for besides one collab, I haven't uploaded like a grandma video um, for one week or a, a couple other videos for the last week and a half, I guess. Um, it's because I've been really sick and I've had this just crazy cold. Colton had it on Monday and then I got it by Friday and then through the weekend I was still just doing whatever I wanted to and I didn't really like take care of that cold and now it's just spiraled into like craziness. I'm starting to feel better a little bit today so I'm gonna film a Grandma's Wednesday video um and this time I know last week two weeks ago sorry I did a Mrs. Grass Soup video but I didn't want to do that one again. And um, so another thing that my grandma would cook us when we don't feel good is chicken noodle soup. But she never made it from scratch from home. She always made it out of the can. <laughs> so this is my rendition uh, because I like to make homemade soups um, of chicken noodle soup. So yeah, it just has those wacky noodles in there. It has rotisserie shredded up chicken. Um, it has it has carrots, it has peas and carrots, and then different like cut carrots and broth and everything is just homemade. The broth came from Bouillon Cubes. Okay. So the other thing I have, which is almost gone, is Edwards Orchard 100% apple cider. Um, one eight ounce serving is 120 calories. It's delicious. I go to this place every year with family. And I saw that Trisha paid this one here uh, to this exact one actually like last winter or fall or whatever. And it was so crazy because we went literally the weekend after um, she was there. So I could have technically almost met her, but she probably wouldn't give me the time of day, but still, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool. Mm. So this is slow cooking for eight hours. So what I did is I woke up in the morning, because these were all fresh carrots here. These are all just fresh cut carrots. And so what I did is I woke up, I got like eight cups of water in the crock pot, put it on low. Uh, put about eight bouillon cubes in there, um, which is actually below the recommended um, bouillon cubes to make broth for it. But I don't like my soup so salty, so I put less in there because less is more, people. Um, and then I put the carrots, and then I put frozen peas and carrots because um, I wanted more carrots than I had. And then the chicken, the rotisserie chicken, I had a little bit of it last night. Actually, I had the two legs. Um, and then I, I shredded the rest up. Mm. For this soup. And it's absolutely amazing. It tastes really yummy. And I haven't eaten anything all day today. I just haven't felt good. I still, you guys, when I say I don't feel good, I still have to go to work. I still have to do school. I still have to do everything. Like my life cannot stop because I don't feel good. So I was drinking Earl Grey tea at work and also uh, raspberry hibiscus and um, also chai tea. I drink a lot of tea, like a lot of tea today. Um, and then, you know, I'm having this soup for dinner. Oh, yeah. And then I cooked the pasta separate. They're just like wacky noodles. Uh, cooked it separate afterwards so it wouldn't be sitting there for eight hours um, and then tossed them in there. And there we are. So let's just get a little sriracha. I would put it in the actual crock pot, but, oh my god, it always gets stuck. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, but my son eats the soup, too, so I don't want to make it spicy for him. Let's just take a drink of this. Oh, it's so good. You guys don't know anything about crisp apple cider. Like, you can tell there's, like, a variety of four different apples in here. It doesn't say what kind. It just says from hand-picked apples. Um, I can definitely taste jazz. I mean, um, pink lady apples in there. Um, I can definitely taste some um, gala apples. Um, they have a brand new apple that they're called, what are they called? Ever Crisp? Ever Crisp or something like that. It's a, or it's Fuji Crisp. It's a uh, mix between two apples. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. If not, oh well. But maybe that was used too. I don't know. 
Mmm. Yeah, that sriracha gives it a nice kick. So, topic. Topic, topic, topic. By the way, hello to all my new subscribers. Normally I post at least two to three times a week. I've been sick. It happens. I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. This is a series about my grandma, how she raised me. My last video on this series is actually pretty sad. It kind of went over how she had Parkinson's and dementia and in the end didn't really know me and that really hurt me and I gained 80 pounds or 100 pounds or whatever. I gained a lot of weight, okay, because I was so sad and I started eating everything. Anyways, <laughs> so today's topic, I'm just going to talk a little bit about like how she would discipline us, I guess. So when I was around Colton's age, like three, that's when you kind of start remembering things and kind of make memories. Um, when I was about his age, like five or six, she kind of disciplined us the same way. Um, and the first thing she would do is like, say I got in trouble for bad grades at school or for bad being bad at preschool or daycare, okay? So I'd either get a, a smiley face sticker or a frown down sticker for the day because I was kind of like a wild child. If I got a frowny face sticker, my God, my grandma would be so mad at me. And one of the things she would do is she would wrap, she would go to my room um, and she would go and take all my toys away because I was notorious for like playing with my toys when I should be sleeping. And since I wasn't sleeping very good, I was acting out because I was tired. Um, and so she'd go in my room, storm in there with one of them damn trash bags, pick up all my toys. All my toys, she took them out of my room, and my room is just left bare with nothing. And then, and then, I couldn't eat dinner until the other, like, I couldn't eat dinner until they are done eating dinner, because then I wouldn't be able to enjoy that happy time with family. And family, I meant my grandma, my sister, and me. Um, so, that would happen just because I would get frowny faces at school. If I were to act out, like, hit people or not listen or be crazy my grandma would again pack my dolls and my babies and everything up um I would not be able to eat dinner until it was cold okay I didn't get to eat a warm dinner it had to wait till it's cold when she told me I could eat dinner because I'd be too busy screaming and hollering anyway like I didn't want to eat dinner um so I got to eat it while it was cold and sometimes I didn't get to eat dinner at all because I wouldn't stop screaming until it was nighttime or bedtime. And my bedtime was at 7.30. And that stopping dinner kind of started happening when I was more like 10, 11, 12. Another thing she started doing, like if I started getting bad grades or like, my grades were always like kind of C's and B's in like middle school and high school, but in middle school, if I didn't get good grades, and especially if I hid my report card from her, the guy, neighbor, our neighbor boys, we couldn't, I couldn't go play with them. Like I would just have to sit in the house and stare at her doing her crossword puzzle all day because I got bad grades. And then from there, she would still take toys away. She would still not let me do things like nothing. Like if you got in trouble, you were not doing nothing. You were going to sit there right next to her and do nothing. You can't color. You can't do nothing. Just sit there, okay? We never had like a consequence where we had to do extra chores because we were just expected on a daily basis to do our chores. And no, I did not get no allowance. I only got money if I went over to like my aunt's house or my grandpa's house to mow their lawn. Not ours. Ours are just normal daily activities. This one time, I remember very distinctly that I was doing something. Okay, so in the, I remember now. So in the, our backyard, we had the pool, right? 
big old gigantic pool if you guys don't know it was a big ass pool went from three feet all the way to seven feet huge pool i grew up with okay above ground pool so we would play badminton and badminton is where there's like a little birdie and you hit it back and forth with these long elongated rackets and so when the birdies got out of the pool somebody had to go get them and pick them up well, I hated being that person because I was short and it was hard for me to get out of the pool by jumping out the side because I was chubby too, right? And so one time I was getting just too much of an attitude and I didn't want to get out of the pool to get the birdies. I told grandma she could do it herself and she made me get out of the pool. She grabbed me up by my swimming suit, pretty much threw me out of the pool, okay? So we got out of the pool. I had to go straight to my room don't pass go, don't collect $200, straight to your goddamn room. She came up storming up there. She took everything out of my room. At this point, I didn't really have, like, toys, but I still had, like, cars and, like, collectible things that I could do, like, journals, diaries, stuff I could do. She took everything out of my room. She put it all the way downstairs in the basement where I was afraid to go. And I didn't get no dinner. She was mean, people. She didn't play around. She did not play. I never got like, grounded for several days. But like when she was pissed, it would be like a whole day. Don't even talk to her. You might as well just stay in your room and do nothing. Yeah. But, the, see, the thing is, you guys, the thing is that I want I, I want to say is that she never, ever, ever laid a hand on us. There's a lot of parents that say, you should just whip your kid, you should spank your kid, you should smack your kid. My grandma never did none of that. I was afraid of her devil voice or her mom voice. If she said, Anna Marie, I was flying out of that room. I did something wrong. He like, I am like so scared of that voice. She never had to hit anybody. In fact, the only time I was ever hit ever was by my aunt. And it was because I didn't understand a math problem. Yeah, glad I wasn't raised by her. <laughs> and, yeah, so we never got hit. We were just scared of grandma's voice. And I think I do the same thing with Colton. Like, he's just... I never have to hit him. Okay, so there's one time he was putting like a metal object in the light socket. I smacked his hand like this. Oh my God. I felt guilty for weeks. I said, I called Chris up. I said, oh, I just hit Colton's hand. I hit his hand. I'm the worst mom in the world. And he's like, hold on. He could have died from electrocution and you're worried about hitting his hand? Yeah, I like smacked his hand like this. I mean, but to that, and, and there was like a slap sound like that because I just whacked it, his hand right down so he didn't get shocked, right? I thought I was the worst person ever. Worst mom ever, you guys. But then, and, and, and that's because I was raised and my grandma never hit me. Well, I don't know, like, when I was really, really little, if she, like, used a slap or whatever. Because I, I don't remember that. But from what I know, she never, ever used any kind of physical Call aggression so for me to do that to Colson I was just oh my god you guys it was just horrible for me I felt horrible and I don't spank him I don't I don't do none of that um, but he's also not a wild child I I talk to him <laughs> so yeah I think I just learned it from my grandma because that's how my grandma was And I think the worst thing in the world is getting your beloved toys taken away from you. I remember very distinctly. One time I got mad, right? And I had this American Girl doll. And I got mad. And you guys know what burrs are? They're like these spiky little plant things that stick all over your clothes. And they do not come off very easily. And they hurt. Okay. I got mad at my doll. Or I got mad at something and I took it out of my doll. Threw my doll into a burr bush, okay? And the hair was like nice long blonde hair down to here. And the hair got the burrs up in there. Oh my God, I've never seen such a mad mess in my life. You know what my consequence was? Three days. 
three days of sitting there after school next to grandma while she did her crossword puzzle, taking the burrs out of the hair of that doll because the doll was given to me as a gift and it was very disrespectful what I did to the doll. I would never throw that doll again. I would never throw any doll again. That was the worst, the worst thing ever, you guys. <coughs> Why whoop somebody's ass one time when you can just make them sit there for three days in a row after school when they want to be playing and doing other things, taking burrs out of somebody's hair or the doll's hair, whatever. I'm telling you guys, like, she was very strategic in this. She wanted to teach you a lesson hard. <laughs> the same thing when I didn't want to learn how to tie my shoes. She made me sit on the concrete steps. While she sat behind me doing her crossword puzzles and, me, and gave me her stinky old grandma shoe and said, you bet you're not leaving those stairs until you tie that shoe. It took me six hours, people. I am not even joking. Ask my sister, ask anybody. You can ask my grandma, the Lord up above. Six hours I sat on those stairs. But I learned how to tie those shoes, okay? I was crying and crying and crying. And when I finally got it, I was like, yes! Yes, I got it. I tied a shoe. And then she said, do it again. Oh, Lord Jesus. I think she got tired of tying my shoes for me. Whew. You guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> These are the different kind of discipline you can do for your child, okay? Just make them do it. Even with Colton, you don't want to pick up your toys? Okay, we ain't doing nothing until these toys are picked up. Yes, because you're three, I will help you. But for you to think that I'm going to do it all by myself and then you're going to terrorize my house again, that is not happening. You're going to help me pick it up and then you're going to make a choice of, do I really want to dump that all back out? <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys, there's different ways to discipline your kids or teach them a lesson than to hurt them. You know, even like yelling all the time. Colton's not subjected to yelling. Um, so when we go to a place and there's a lot of yelling and bickering and going back and forth, he gets very, very overwhelmed very fast. Um, because I don't use that parental technique. Yes, I do. <coughs> I get mad. I say, Colton James, why would you do that? You know, but I don't ever screech at the top of my lungs or curse at him or none of this stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I, th I think I made my point. Grandma disciplined, but she never had her hit. She just taught you a lesson, okay? I hope you guys liked my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment below to see what other stories you want to hear about my grandma. And I'll see you guys later.